So Paris is the first level, and you can see here that I haven't actually completed the main mission of Paris yet. Um, so instead, what we're gonna do is is uh, should we try an escalation, or should we do a contractor warm up? Let's do an escalation. I'm trying to think of which one of these I haven't done. What's the Perkins? Do? Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm not too worried about spoilers here. Mm, sabotage the Iago auction. That's interesting, but uh, I want to do an assassination, I think. What's the... What's the Adrian Eclipse? First name Adrian, second name Eclipse. Uh, Region Hertz asks, is the Christmas mission downloaded? I don't know, it might be. Uh, I'll check uh, in a second. Now you see, we have to kill Raoul Blanc with a pistol. Or wearing any disguise. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Let's give it a go. So we're going into the planning phase, and I think I'm going to bring in um, a lock pick uh, in case I get to need to get through any locked doors. My general pick here is a is a lethal syringe because it's uh, it's really effective to poison people. But um, since I have to kill this guy with a pistol, as per the limitations of this escalation, I'm going to go for the lock pick instead. Let me know if I am too loud or too quiet, and I can I can fix those things. Otherwise, I think we're about ready to start. I'm kind of thrown off a little, honestly, by not being in Thailand. I was I was expecting to be in Thailand, but you know, how wrong can it go, really? I've got some. Uh, Passion fruit and apple cider, which I didn't think I was going to be into, but the the passion fruit is really good. Um, that counts for a lot. The loading screens in this game are long, but nowhere near as long as they are on 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 my version of the the PC, because I have a, a very old PC that plays the game just just about. It sort of considers Hitman as an option, and then sometimes joins in. Okay, here we go, Paris. I was last in Paris on video uh, in the escalation I recorded with Janine, which was really good fun. So we need to kill Raoul Blanc with a pistol. Let's just traditionally, let's just traditionally. Sorry. Yeah, okay, I won't do it again. I'm just watching. I'm just. I'm just. Whatever. Let's just take it from the top. I'm just watching the interview. I'm not. Okay. Here we go. And we're off. So our target is. It looks like he's behind the palace. That's very far away. Well, he might be on this. I think he might be on the second floor. On the first floor. Um, so f the first thing I'm going to try and do is, is, is get a route onto the, onto the second floor that I can move around in fairly easily. Good evening, sir. Welcome and I'm going to do that with kind of like the, the, the first and easiest way to make a dent in this level. Um, and that's with this tiny, tiny little, oh, there's an overcock. That's with this tiny little door down here. I can go into this door and immediately pick up the lockpick that I smuggled into the level. Oops. Oh. Now I'm technically trespassing, as you can see down the bottom here. Uh, I don't want to explain too much of how this game works as I'm playing, because I assume most of you will have seen a bit of this game, and, and if you haven't, it'll be a fun experience. I'm going in here to get the uh, staff disguise, which I think belongs to this man who's currently not wearing his clothes. So he's going to go to look for his disguise and find instead that it's, you know, um, a perfectly folded tuxedo. It's gonna weird him out a little. We keep going this way. Um, actually, you know what? While I'm down here, I'm gonna pick up some other tools. Thinking about it now, I didn't need to pick up the lockpick because I can get the palace master key here, which will unlock any door. Uh, and I'm also gonna pick up the rat poison, which is one of the most uh, useful tools in the game for reasons that will become clear if I have to use it. Um, I like these kind of like temperature controlled wine racks here. 
They look very fancy. I think 47 looks good in this disguise. Now, I'm going through the kitchens here because uh, on this wall here is an entrance to a stairwell that will take me right up to the top of the mansion. Or near enough to the top of the mansion. Run, 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 run. Now, I'm not technically allowed up here, so I'm going to be quiet. This guy here doesn't like me, but that's good because I'm going to subdue him. I'm going to change into his clothes. Well, <laughs> I'm allowed to wear those. And then I'm going to take him downstairs and hide him in the cupboard that we passed by earlier. This looks like it's uncomfortable for everybody, but mostly for him. Um, it just looks really, really bad. This is the last flight of steps, it's, it's okay. Now I'll just take this guy in here, tuck him into this fancy, fancy wardrobe. There you go, pal. Let's have a brief pause to look at this beautiful vase here. Look at the detail on that vase. That's some good vase detail. Okay, back to the murder. Actually, what are these boys doing, these cherubs? Are they, like, holding the garlands? I don't know. 47 used to be an art critic. Now, oh, I'm allowed up here, so I don't know why I'm crouching. Let's double check where our target is. Oh, right, he's on this floor, and he's over there. Now, I'm not too worried about the first step of the escalation. The first step of the escalation is usually... usually good. Uh, I'm, however, like... not the best at playing Hitman, so we'll see. Alright, this is our man here. And technically... nobody's looking at him currently. There are these two guys around the corner here who might hear a, a gunshot. Obviously, there's this door here, which we can just close. Now, I'm curious about what this guy's path is. Uh, if I get him in here, I can... Well, there's that guy down the end there. I'd have to drag the body past him to hide... Oh, we're going this way. Ah, Napoleon. Gotta go admire this sofa. Gotta check out this nice parquet flooring. Oh, come on, not again. Oh, what? What's happened? We doing okay here? Are we leaning? What are we? Stage yes. Crew, right? That's How me. Doing? Okay. So this guy, I think, admires two things. He admires the sofa. And he admires this cabinet of glasses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go in here. We're going to close this door. I've made a decision. <laughs> I don't think it will haunt me. Uh, we're going to close this door. We're going to close this door. And then this man is going to take a brief and unscheduled nap. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Okay, now it's time to get the examiner into this room, which I'm gonna do by distracting him by flinging a bust of Mozart. Look at this, is this like a library? Ooh, look at this ceiling. What have we got here? Let's see, what have we got here? Let's check this ceiling out. We got... A sort of a... The scale in this painting is really weird. She is so much larger than these two figures. Um, nope. Didn't mean to do that. 
Okay. Our target is here. Let's get him to come through here, which we're going to do with the bust. Now, let's chuck that about there and see if he's interested. You interested? He is interested. Okay, this is a good start. See, this is a good start. Is he going to come in, though? Ah, he might not want to come in. Which might be an issue. I will throw a, a coin as well, you know, just to, like, sweeten the... the oh! Hello! <laughs> he came in! Let's make sure these doors are closed. That's just... If anyone's there, pay for it, Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Did... Did people hear that? Whew, no, I don't think people heard that. I think we're good. I wasn't expecting him to be facing me when I shot him. Um, I'll pop this guy in the wardrobe with the auction guy. Uh, and then I think as far as exits are concerned, I'm probably just going to go out the way I came, honestly. Um, why overcomplicate things at this stage in the escalator? What's this a picture of? Ah, uh, Napoleon. Um, let's go this way, down these stairs. Actually, I think I can just go down the main stairs in this disguise. I think once I've acquired this dis Ah, uh, where's the main stairs? That's the back of the mansion, so I want to go this way. Meanwhile, in the fashion show... This game is the best Last Express game that's ever been made. Ah, uh, being recorded by a security camera. Oh well. Now I think I can go down these stairs. Yeah, I'm good. Hello, it's me, Viktor Novikov. Anybody hear any shots upstairs? No. Of course not. Okay. This in fact went so fairly easily that I'm a little disconcerted by it, honestly. I'm going to get uh, th between three and four stars because the man saw me. Um, Otherwise... Let's see what we got. Two stars. Okay. Could have been a lot better. Could have been a lot worse. Let's go. I need to kill Eric Hébert with the pistol. Uh, and this guy might be the auction guy that we took out earlier in that in that room. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, which might, might have terrifying implications about what later escalations would be if they're having us kill two targets that are close to each other. Um... Let's see. BB Alpert in the chat uh, mentions a, a really useful way of taking out uh, targets with a gun that I didn't, that I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, I think this is these two men. Um, now, is there any way that I can think of that I could cut down on this route? I can get... Yes, there is. I think I can do this a little faster like this. I wait for this woman here to ask this man where the toilet is. I can use this moment to slip past him. Okay. Let's go back to the original plan. Forget that that start even happened. I 
there's a casualness with which 47 moves through these environments um, that I think is really characterful. Um, sometimes he comes across as quite stiff in his animations, but I think that to an extent it, it gives him a sort of implacability that I think is lends a lot to his character. Hello chefs, just let's just stop off and check how many onions we got here. We got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one bags of onions. Oh! <laughs> 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. We're going to say there's 9 in each of those. That's 51. 52, 53, 54. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Uh, 59 plus 8 is. 67. That's a lot of onions to keep track of. Anyway, back to murder. You ready for your journey back down the stairs again, pal? We ready to go? Oh, I should make this disguise here. Disguises uh, drop where you switch disguises, so it's it's more in my interest to have a, a chef's disguise that close, just in case I need it in a future escalation, rather than it being at the bottom of the stairs. This is a bad sound for the ears, isn't it? So I feel that in the earlier run we, we paid a lot of attention to the vases, but I, I want to check out the banisters this time, because they also look pretty good. Or rather, the, the pillars on the banisters? Yeah, they're kind of like... They're alright, they're not as good as the vases. I can't read the chat and look at the screen at the same time, so I'm having to pause every so often. Okay, here we go. Now, what I really want this time is to... Now, is this my target? No. Maybe. What? One of the auction... No, okay, it's not that guy, it's the other guy. So let's deal with this guy first, and then and then go under the new guy that we that we don't know so much about. Let's close these. So what are you checking out here? You've got these good, good boxes. These kind of like really fancy boxes on this table. I'm curious what they're about. I'm going to take a moment and check them out in a second. Also interested by this kind of like this structure here. This is very pretty. This table. Now, what are these? They're fragile, and they've got a... They're like moving boxes. Oh, they are, they are moving boxes. They have move written on the top of them. Okay, moving on. Now we gotta wait until he's... He's currently on his admire the, um... Admire the sofa run, but here he comes. Ready to admire the... The armoire. It's a strange sound, he says. What could that sound be?
Is anyone there? You hear me? Do you want to come in, maybe? Please? You gonna... Please? What the... Ah, here we go. Huh. Please come into the room. Please come into... I'm shaking my head. Now, maybe he only comes in for the bust of Mozart. Let's try flinging that. That made no sound at all, but it was apparently enough to convince him. Oh, hey, look who else is here. Anyone there? Oh yeah, that is interesting. I didn't know I could do that. That's fascinating. Takes two bullets, but Ah, now you see, I could kill the other guy in here, but that would mean that I couldn't hide him in this place, because this is now full of two bodies. Um, bodies that can fit in a wardrobe. That's physics. Uh, I should take this gun and put it somewhere unnoticed in case someone comes into the room and is distracted by the gun. So I think I'll just put it down here. Outside the window. <laughs> and I'll close those. Alright, let's move on to Eric. Alright, Eric. Death comes for you. Ah, Eric's going upstairs, and I don't think I'm allowed upstairs as a crew member. Sorry, this is not the no. So I'm gonna go change into that cicada disguise and see if those guys know who I am. Um. Oh, that's an auction staff disguise, which is probably just as good. Our target might know who I am, but I can cross that bridge when I come to it. Uh, they might want to frisk me, actually. Anyone yeah. Anyone coming through here needs a quick pat down, sir. Security measures. And they'll spot my gun. Um, so I, ideally, I actually want to kill this guy. Down here. Where is he? Luckily, he's coming back down. At least I think he's coming back down. He definitely came down before. Now, is there anywhere I could hide him? I could possibly put his body on the porch and then escape before anybody noticed it. Um. this great ceiling. Look at this great ceiling. Oh, shit. Wait, hang on. Where is he? Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's... I think he's coming downstairs now. Oh, Goodbye Misery suggests that if I wear the cicada disguise, they possibly won't frisk me. Uh, which is a good point. Look at this little collection of disguises that I've got going on down there. Um, now what's crucial here is, is whether or not they know who this guy is, and, and they do, you see. They do know who this guy is. Um, so let's just hang out here and, and keep an eye on what's going on here. So Eric, our man Eric, comes through here. Now if he goes and checks this out as well, that's what this conspiracy is all about realistically. The good news is that let's just... Ah, he has a little look out of the window. Now, this guy will absolutely see me if I 
Well, maybe not. I don't know really what the line of sight is here. Oh, don't oh. mind me. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Wait, 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 please wait, please wait. Eric. Okay. <laughs> Eric. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. Eric, I swear to god. Eric, please. Huh, I think the coins want me to go into the mysterious room. Jesus Christ, Eric. Never mind. Eric, I swear to God. Kat, you should absolutely get this game. This is what I've been saying for months. For, to everybody. This is one of the best games released this year. It does apparently need to be the bust. Let me go recover the bust. Um. Ah, look, Eric. Look, Eric. Eric, I'm gonna put my silence pistol, I'm gonna hide it next to this globe, and I'm gonna go upstairs and see what your whole deal is, Eric. Wait, no, wrong disguise. <laughs> it's me, Eric Two. Your superior. All right, frisk me. Let's see. That's right. Move on, waiter. Well, A, I'm auction staff, and B, I'm Eric this too. Is just standard procedure. We're <laughs> Kat uh, has uh, my copy of this game installed on her PlayStation right now, right, so I can't job, play sir. it because I'm playing it. There's an easy way to solve that problem. What a great game! Now, if there was some way... Stay clear, son. I think there's someone ordering a gazpacho or something. Hmm, I wonder if I can climb a pipe up to this floor from one of the windows. I mean, I, I know I can climb a pipe up to this floor. Because here's where I'd kill him, right? I'd kill him when he's on his own in this... This room here. But I think he's on his way downstairs. In which case I'm just we're just gonna I'm just gonna beat him to it, grab the gun, today, chuck man. the bust. Thine doom approaches. No one can resist the lure of Beethoven. The lure of Beethoven has already taken out one man twice, Eric. You will be no exception. Was that Mozart I hear, he says? Apparently not. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. You curious about that, huh, what? Eric? Hello? Yeah, the security guards weren't at all curious about the the bust I had in my pocket. Oh, Jesus Christ, Eric. Do you, do I have to do this again? Eric. Eric. Aren't you curious about this? Was that Brahms? 
the fact we can only attract their attention with the bust is hey, so funny to Hello? me. Okay. I'm just going to put his body on the uh, on the balcony, I think, and bounce. Remember to hide the pistol, because that would be a bad look. I think I can just go down these stairs. Yeah, I can. Uh, now I could probably leave via the helicopter. Yeah, I think I can leave via the helicopter. I think I'm technically trespassing if I go on this grass, maybe? Uh, yes I am. So I'll just wait until their backs are turned. And stealthily steal this helicopter. Okay. That was a little trickier than the last one, but I think it went fine. Oh, and I got an achievement for that. I think maybe as a silent assassin. That's gotta be five stars, right? Yeah. And a silent assassin. Nice. Next level. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> 